Hey guys, welcome to Data Track, your one-stop channel for all the data science and machine learning updates. In today's video, we will look at how to train a Llama V2 model to respond like Shah Rukh Khan. Shah Rukh Khan is known for his wit, humor and charm and let's see how if we can train a Llama V2 model to respond like him and we will call it SRK GPT. So these are some of the replies of SRK over uh, X which is the new version of Twitter. Sir, please help me ask a girl to prom. If I ask, she won't go with you. Uh, when are you doing a film with Abraham? Like people are asking when he will do a film with his uh, kid. He said as soon as I get his dates. Achcha kuch urdu mein seer sairi sunai. He is saying pizza bhi deliver kar du ghar pe. I wish we had more people like you in this world. Someone says to SRK. He replies no baby. They are just me. And one more. Sir hum garibo ko bhi reply de do. Hello garib. So he is known for his wit, humor. Uh, in the replies, we will train a Llama V2 model if it can also respond like SRK. So first of all, let's understand that uh, when we uh, ask a question and ask ChatGPT to respond like Shah Rukh Khan, uh, how good it is and if we ask the same question to Llama V2, the chat version, uh, 7 billion parameter models, how good it is. So what was your first job and what did you learn from it? Uh, the chat GPT response when we ask him that uh, uh, the prompt we use is Sarukh Khan is, no, is an actor known for his witty responses. How would you, he reply with his wit and humor to the following question? So Sarukh Khan replies, my first job was at Concerned in Delhi where I worked as an usher. Usher is one who shows the uh, seats to people in the cinema hall or theater. So my first job was at Concerned in Delhi where I was worked as an usher. I learned two things from it. First, how to handle a crowd and secondly, uh, and later it helped me handling my fans and second, that I should never be an usher again because I am much better at being the one people come to see. So it's a very good response and it has that wit and humor as well. While if you see the Lama V2 response, first job you say wink wink, well my first job was actually babysitting my little bro, hey hey don't tell him, I told you that, side eye. But seriously my first job was a waiter in a local restaurant, Chekals. Let me tell you, I learned two things, how to make people laugh and how to handle it as boss and so on. So this is a bigger uh, reply while the chat GPT response has wit and humor and as well as it's short and crisp. Similarly, what's the school project or assignment you are particularly proud of? The Let's see the chat GPT response when we asked it that Shah Rukh Khan is known for his wit and humor, how would he reply? So, SR, uh, so the chat GPT's answer is well, I once had a project on humility. I think I did a fantastic job considering I had to study myself as the prime example. So he is saying that when there was a project on humility, he uh, studied himself because he is the most humble person. <laughs> While if you see uh, the uh, Shah Rukh Khan's uh, reply uh, from Lama V2 is, um, I think I, I might be a bit biased but I am pretty sure my most proud school project was the one where I managed to convince my teacher that I had a pet dragon at home. Uh, who wouldn't want a dragon as a pet? They are so fluffy and cute. So it doesn't have that um, wit and humor in it and as well it's very big like we want a short and crisp reply like the one which chat GPT is giving. One more question, were you more of a rebellious or rule abiding? child. The chat GPT's response, well, I was bit of both. I followed the rules, but only so I could find creative ways to break them. While the Lama V2 response is, well, I am glad you asked. As a child, I was a teeny Shah Rukh Khan um, trying to rebel against the rules of the world. But deep down, I was just a scared little boy who wanted to make everyone happy. So I would say I was both a rebellious child in my own little way and rule abiding kid who just wanted to get along. It's a complicated life, but hey, that's what makes it interesting, right? So uh, definitely the chat GPT's response is much better, full of uh, wit, humor and the Lama V2 response are bigger and not as much witty as we would want it to. So next step what we do, we, uh, we will create a data set so that we can teach a Llama V2 7 billion smaller model to respond like Shah Rukh Khan and we already saw that the chat GPT uh, model which is big and huge is responding pretty well. Uh, 
uh, with written humor so we will create a data set through chat gpt where we will ask it many questions and uh, see that how sharukh khan would have replied to it so we created create a data set through chat gpt if you can see some of the questions if you could erase one project from my career which would it be and while well i would erase the project trying to grow a full beard i it was a disaster i looked like a grizzly bear and my kids refused to come near me as for my films i wouldn't erase any they are all part of my journey and i have taught me something valuable so awesome reply what's the most unusual or unexpected source of inspiration for one of your projects well once i was inspired my wife shopping list i thought if she can manage to buy all things in one day i can certainly manage to play a character who does the impossible so i guess grocery list can also be quite inspiring too and what do you say to critics who claims you have you are overrated in your industry well i would say that i am like a classic bottle of wine some may find me overpriced but those who have a taste for fine things they know my worth uh why do you think some people find you difficult to work with well i guess it's because i am like a math problem some people find me difficult because they can't figure me out but once they do they realize i am not that complicated after all and one more do you believe your success has made you disconnected from the struggles of ordinary people well i wouldn't say i am disconnected i still struggle every day to decide which of my 200 pairs of shoes to wear so in this way we have created a data set which is full of wit and humor as sharukh khan would have replied from chat gpt and now we will train a smaller uh, we will find to a smaller llama v2 7 million parameters models to respond like it and uh, if we look at the architecture of how the overall data set was created uh different type of questions were generated uh and we generated the response against from again from chat gpt and in that way we created the training and validation data let's also look into a bit more details uh different type of questions what type of questions we again use chat gpt to even generate questions and questions uh, were like 50 questions to ask a movie celebrity 50 childhood early struggling career questions to ask celebrity 50 interesting questions um to ask a celebrity 50 uncomfortable questions or intimidating questions to ask to a celebrity in this way we generated 50 50 questions from each type uh, for a movie celebrity for early struggling career so interesting questions and uncomfortable intimidating questions in that way we created the question data set through chat gpt next is we generated the response again for that we used chat gpt with a prompt that sharukh khan is an actor known for his witty response how would he reply with wit and humor to the following question and in, as a result of that we will get uh, the data we created 211 questions out of which we use 173 for fine tuning and 31 for validation we will see uh, when we do the fine tuning and a uh, few more things that the comparison between the llama v2 and chat gpt model uh, the the uh, chat version of both of them before fine tuning i tested them on many more examples here is the link to the google sheet which have all the questions and how the two models replied similarly the data set that we created through chat gpt all the uh, 211 question and answers are there in the google sheet which i will also provide in the description section and the final data set that i created i have open sourced it and uploaded it, in, it into hugging face so you can directly use it from this hugging face library just quickly i will show all of it uh, so the uh, chat gpt versus llama v2 not fine tuned responses are here where i have generated for multiple cases and similarly after fine tuning how the results appear that we will see uh, and the data set that we created through chat gpt that uh, how would sarukh uh, khan would have replied with wit and humor all the 211 data points are here uh yeah you can see 211 data points are here and post fine tuning how the response comes that also we have here in the G google sheet which we will look uh, in 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 a short while and uh, the hugging face data set that we created through chat gpt has also been uploaded in this um, in the in the hugging face hub so you can uh, download it fr from here and also give it a like so now coming back to the main slide what i'm trying to do i'm just trying to explain the main ideas what we will be doing in this presentation so it becomes very easy to later uh, um, understand the code flow so we have looked at how the data set was created next how we would uh, fine tune the model so we will take the llama v2 7 billion model which is a chat version already trained for conversational um, queries 
and we'll take the training data. Training data is the one we just created through ChatGPT and then we'll do the fine tuning and finally we will get SRK GPT or SRK Lama. For the fine tuning of this model, we will use the techniques of quantization and LoRa. Quantization is a technique which reduces the computational and memory cost of running inferences by representing the weights or parameters which are in 32 bit in just 8 bit uh, data types. And how this conversion from floating point to integer and back from integer to floating point happens, I have already explained in one of my video which I will add link in the description section. We will also use LoRa. LoRa is low rank adapters. The technique is used to fine tune large language models by reduce the number of uh, trainable parameters. LoRa freezes the pre-trained model weights and injects trainable rank decomposable matrix into the defined layer for uh, efficient fine tuning. So basically let's say your uh, layer has 100 cross 100 parameters. Now you will add or inject this adapter matrix which is decomposable. So instead of 100 cross 100 matrix you will decompose, two, uh, decompose it into two matrices. 100 into let's say 15 and 15 cross 100 so in that way you will reduce the total number of parameters but when you multiply it will become of the same uh, dimension of the original layer matrix but since you have decomposed it into 100 cross r r into 100 your number of trainable parameter reduces and what should be the right r if r is very high it will have more expressive power but will take more time to train but if r is lesser it will have lesser expressive power but it will take lesser time to train so this is the trade-off and that you can set in your code and um, we will use PEFT library which is parameter efficient fine tuning because it provides the uh, capability of all these advanced techniques like LoRa and quantization in built in it. So we will use that for fine tuning and post fine tuning the Lama V27 billion models will get enhanced to SRK Lama or SRK GPT. So with that let's uh, jump to the code where we will see how we have done the effective fine tuning. So for fine tuning what we will do is we will first install the necessary libraries. That is what we have done. We have installed all the necessary libraries and then uh, then we have uh, provided Google Colab the permission to read the drive because finally the output we will save in the drive and we have also uh, 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 defined our uh, weight and biases key and this you can get from the weight and biases website and I have made it a secret. This is the key where you can add something as a secret so that it's uh, even if you share your notebook, it's uh, safe. Next, what we have done is we have downloaded the 7 million Llama V2 chat model and uh, all the 7 billion parameter model will be downloaded. Next, what we will do is we will uh, download the data set and I was saying as I have made it available in the Hugging Face data set, you can di directly load it in this way and you will have the question answer responses. And then we have uh, is split it into train and uh, validation set as I was showing 211 data uh, points we will make 173 training data point and 31 as validation data point so we can see the uh, new responses how after fine tuning the results are and one more thing we have done before fine tuning just take in the above chat version of Llama V2 and see that uh, with the prompt engineering that SRK is known for his VT responses how would he reply with wit and humor and see that seen that how would a un fine-tuned or the original chat version of Lama V2 will reply as Shah Rukh Khan and we get all the responses which we have seen in the slide as well and which the all the responses which the unfine-tuned version produces I have uh, put it in this sheet as well which you can see uh, which will be shared in the description section and next what we do is the main thing which is uh, fine-tuning for fine-tuning we have used the PEFT library we have used the R which is the rank of the decomposable matrix as 64 and other parameters like the learning rate, dropout, all these things we have said and in which layers will we inject this decomposable matrix? These layers, right? So all those we have defined and then we will start the training process and we will start it, train it for 300 epochs. So that is how the training process starts and you will see in this training process uh, that uh, beautifully the error will reduce over time. Yeah, so you can see that it, it started with uh, some error loss, which is very high. It started with 2.01 and finally over time it reduced to almost 0.11. So it has learned to respond like Shah Rukh Khan and uh, the um, way we have trained it is we have used the chat GPT's response uh, as a um, as a guiding data point that this is how you should reply. You should pro produce short and crisp replies with wit and humor in it. and 
reduction in error gives us the confidence that our Lama V2 7 million parameter model has learned to respond like Shah Rukh Khan um, the way ChatGPT is also responding. And then what we will do is we will again do the inferencing and this time with the fine tuned model and we will have the results. We already saw that before the fine tuning the replies were big, long and also they had less wit and humor in it and post fine tuning the <coughs> response are uh, pretty short, crisp and just the way we want it to that is full of wit and humor. What is your first job? Well, my first job was a superhero in a child and so I learned that even without my any superpower, you can still save the day with your charm and wit and if that doesn't work, you can always resort to drama and all who can resist to a superhero who cries. <laughs> so yeah, so finally after the fine tuning, uh, it has become pretty better that now one more question how do you manage constant comparison well i just remind myself that i am not a race car i am a luxury car i don't have to be the fastest i just have to be the most stylish and beside who's to stay who's the best uh, who's to say who's the best we are all just actors playing our parts in big drama called bollywood so let's just enjoy the show and keep making it interesting shall we <laughs> so you can see that llama v2 response has also become like the chat gpt response the way we would have wanted it to so yeah, uh, that's it uh, and also I tried to see that if I ask it just some normal questions, how would it reply like how is a neural network trained uh, and uh, how to learn machine learning and I don't feel motivated energetic to work, what can you suggest? So this kind of questions I tried to ask the fine tuned Llama V2 model and see the response. How is a neural network trained, right? Well, it's like training a child. You feed it a lot of data, keep track of progress and if it doesn't perform well, you adjust the parameters. And if it, that doesn't work, you just have to accept it's a bit like a wild animal and you can't tame it. And how to learn machine learning? Well, I would say learn from my movies. They are full of drama, suspense and little bit of mathematics. Plus, they never fail to make you feel better. So if you want to learn machine learning, just watch my movies and try to understand the dialogue. They are full of codes and algorithms. So just like we can see that it is having that sort, shortness, crispiness and wit and humor just like the way chat GPT was uh, producing. And we have trained a smaller Llama V2 model to be as efficient as a bigger parameter. Uh, chat GPT model so yeah that's it in this video hope you liked and enjoyed the content please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such updates bye